Yay, looks like we got a beautiful swarm of bees. Look at that swarm. Thanks, freaking gorgeous. See these bees? I'm gonna go get my box. Here's my swarm box. I've got a couple bees hanging out on it. That's kind of cool. But I don't see anybody in it, so. Okay, here's my box. The bees are actually even checking it out. <coughs> That's cool. Here's my box. And here's this gorgeous swarm of bees. It'll just give you an idea how big that is. There's my hand. They're like much bigger than my hand. That's a beautiful, look at the size of that swarm. Oh my gosh. All right, so I'm gonna cut off a bunch of branches around it, cut the top branch, bring it down into my box, and shake it in. That's the plan. Ah, nice. All right, so I cut away a few branches to expose the swarm and see what I got there. Freaking things as big as my box. I could technically lift up the box, put it under there, and just shake the branch hard. I think, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna cut the branch and put the whole thing down in there. Wow, nice set of bees. Okay, this is the situation. I don't know if they're coming out or going in. I missed a few. They might be going out. I think close up the box. No, it looks like they're marching in. They're marching in, that's good. So, I, I disturbed a bunch when I hit them. A bunch of them got ended up in the air. So if you take a look, there's my entrance. And they're going back in. They're not coming out, they're going in. So at least they appear to be going in. Very good. But I did I did bump a few in the air and they're all coming back to cluster on the box. They're all coming back and they're clustering on the box on the outside. I, I dumped them and most of them are inside. Uh, these are just the guys that somehow got in the air. There's quite a few of them that got in the air. The air is like filled with them now. Um, but it does look like they're marching in and not out. It does look like they're marching in and not out. I generally seem to be going in the right direction. So I'm definitely gonna let this calm down. I'll come back to it. I'll come back to it. After they've calmed down, settled in there. Hopefully they stay. Hopefully they settle in and stay. I don't know what I've got going on over here. I hope I don't have a queen in here. I hope I don't have a queen in here. Somewhere. Let them let them calm down, settle down, and hopefully they accept that box the way it is. And if so, I got a bunch of bees. That's a lot of bees. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. They're here in the shade. They were on that tree. I cleaned off a couple branches, and now they're down in here. And I'm watching them, and they're going in the box. There's still a lot of them in the air, but they're getting drawn back to that box. And they are going into the entrance. So that's very cool. That's very cool, they're going in. So, I don't want to take them right now. There's too many that are on the outside of the box. So I'll wait for them to settle down, and I'll go inside the box. And then I'll close it up and take it. I hope they stay. This is a huge swarm. And a great way to start some bees. So, you get them in there, get them in a hive, and get them fed, and 
I'm liking it. I'm liking it. This is the back of the box. Seems like a pretty good sized group of bees. But there's fewer and fewer bees in the air. I definitely stirred them up when I cut that branch. And I know I knocked some on the ground. Um, well, it wasn't as smooth as it could have been. But I did shake most of them in there. And they're climbing up the sides. And I put the cover on and screwed it down. I'm trying to stay in the shade here. Because it's hot out there in the sun. So I don't know. See, I got a big cluster on the outside. But generally speaking, these are going in. Let's see them go in. They are, they are definitely marching in. So that's a good sign. It means my queen is in. That's what that means. So. bees in the box is definitely dropped or on the side of the box and this little swarm cluster has dropped. The bees are still going inside. So I think I got a catch here. This is settling down. This is settling down nicely. Very few flyers in the air. Most of my bees are in the box. I might be able to get this home tonight here a little bit. It's very cool. You can see there's definitely fewer bees on the outside, and they're still making their way down inside. <laughs> Smart trap didn't catch them, so it wasn't successful in that way, but I'm glad I had the box here, so I could use it to scoop them up. But there were bees in my box. Uh, there's honeycomb in there or whatnot, so they, I don't know what they're doing. They may have just been finding the leftover little honeycomb, but they also could have been checking it out. Could have been some scouts. Um, this is cool though, they're going in. They're still, they're still scampering in. In is the right direction. 
direction, people. Very good. Very good. Love it. Not the same box it was a second ago. Uh, very few flyers in the air. Well, there's a lot of flyers in the air, but nowhere near as many as there were. These are still pushing their way in. Um, I'm gonna try to get as many to move down towards the opening as I can. And probably use this little fine brush. Move them down, maybe a little grass. To kind of brush them towards that entrance. I don't want to close this up and take off with it. So. A few stirred up, but it's okay. They're coming around the right side of the box now. And they are still going in for the most part. I got a pretty full box here. I'm deciding on whether to go in or come out. But I'm gonna give it 10 minutes and take them. Whether that little handful of bees makes it or not. I want to try to keep them cool. I got on my open truck and it's sunny today. But I'm just going to have to hope that the breeze driving keeps the box cool. As soon as they get to my house, I'll just set them up in this nuke and let them fly back and forth and see if they stay around. <laughs> Very cool. That, I don't know, three pounds of bees maybe there, maybe four pounds of bees. Pretty good size swarm. Okay, we're down to just a handful of bees. Still bees scooting in. A little few flyers in the air, but not very many. Pretty much what you see is what you get. I think some of them are up at the tight part of the lid here. They probably smell the hive. I don't realize the hole is down there. big swarm. Yeah. 
Hey, I got them home. Now it's time to just kind of get them in the shade. I'm going to put them over here with my bees, where I normally keep my bees, at least for now. I'll try to keep them in the shade so they're cool and open up the entrance a little bit. Um, I've got a queen excluder entrance, so I'm going to try to open it to that queen excluder, excluder entrance. Okay, so I moved it over there, and I probably could have waited for a little bit, but I didn't. As soon as I got it over here, I put some pine branches on it in the shade of that other box. It should stay pretty cool. Then I opened up the queen excluder side <coughs> down there. I'll let them come out. Um, and I'll get that for another angle. I'll let them come out for now. So, queen excluder opening. They can still get out of it. Queen can't. So I know I got the queen in there. We'll keep them in there. Let these guys get out and forage around or figure it out. But hopefully they stay in the box. We'll just leave it. Just gonna leave it for now. And they're flying in and out. Bees are enjoying some leftover honeycomb. <laughs> 